So I'm gonna teach you how to never waste your hair products. So what do I mean by that? Yesterday was Sunday, did my hair for church, and so it's full of everything. I have my heat, heat resistant, my serum, and of course there's hairspray, the dry shampoo. So why wash my hair every single day to reapply those products? So if you put dry shampoo in your hair, the first wash, as oils are coming out of your head, the dry shampoo's there to absorb it and take care of it. So that gives you prolonged life of your wash versus if you don't put any dry shampoo on day one, fresh hair, now your hair is going to naturally, you're gonna have those oils. Then on day two, you're gonna be dry shampooing, trying to take care of the oils that were there. So it's kind of being a proactive versus reactive. And that is one way how I get more days out of my wash is because I apply dry shampoo right away. So tip number two, we're in Minnesota. I love humidity resistant hairspray. This is my favorite hairspray. I've been using it for probably over 10 years now. Thankfully they have not discontinued it. Um, it's a brushable humidity, but yet strong hold hairspray. The key is that it's brushable. So I have all my products. I always use my wet brush and I just gently comb through. And if you were using like, say like a Kenra Platinum, like high hold hairspray, the odds that you could do this are slim to none. But now because I have all those products in my hair, I can now easily style it for day two hair. Like I'll do a recurl if I want. And then maybe day three, I am going to, um, maybe that's a day where then I go in a day and I do like a faux hawk braid or um, wear that for two days. So you can see how you can really extend the life of your washes and your hair because the less you are washing your hair and then I'm saving product because now I'm not reapplying the only thing I will reapply is a little bit of hairspray just to get the desired look at the very end and so curling day two hair goes super duper quick because you already had the structure there in your hair so when we get to the sides, you'll be able to see it a little bit more. And I'll kind of talk you through a little bit more about this style. If you notice in my pictures, a lot of my styles, I have more like straight tipped ends. So how I do that is day one, I go through the very tips with a flat iron. Just at the very ends with that flat iron. And then I do not put the curling iron to the ends. I do the curling iron and leave about an inch to an inch and a half out of the curling iron. And that gives it, so if you didn't do the flat iron, heat really does the trick for ends. Taking frizz out, it takes, and just places the structure there. And it really gives you the kind of that beachy, type look because it is so straight. If you were to just do this with your curling iron without flattening the tips, they just, they wouldn't look, they wouldn't look as nice. So that's kind of the main, the main tip is just making sure you get those ends flat ironed. And then you can see right there, you leave the tips out. So I just got my hair cut not too long ago. So I'm actually using a three quarter inch curling iron because it's a fairly short style. You could absolutely, if you didn't want as tight of a curl, you could do a one inch curling iron. That's not a problem at all. for this length hair, a one inch would work just fine. But since I have all the different irons, see how I leave the tips out? Um, 
I try to do fun things with different irons and it just gives you a little bit different look. And I'm not holding the iron on too terribly long. See how by leaving that out, you kind of get those super fun ends. And the other reason why I do the flat iron first is because my hair, I don't care what hairspray or it doesn't matter. It's going to go flatter throughout the day for my hair. I just think it's honestly Minnesota weather, um, which is fine. But if I were to, say, do this with my curling iron and then I wanted the ends a little straighter with my flat iron, if I were to pull on these curls at all once they are done, it's going to make my style go even flatter yet. So that's why I do the flat iron first. And then again, leaving those ends out. And bringing the curl, you see how I bring the curl all the way to the root there. So starting about um, a couple inches down and then just slowly working your way. And you can also do this exact same style with a wand. I actually think and the reason, um, as you can tell too, I'm also going the same direction with the curling iron. I'm not alternating patterns. This whole side goes back, this side goes back that way. And the reason I do that is so that way I intentionally can recurl it for day two hair, day three hair. If you were to sit here and go every other direction the odds that you're gonna hit that same curl with the same curl pattern the next time is pretty slim to none. And you're, you're just not gonna get a very nice style because the day prior, you used a hot tool on your curls going one way and then now you wanna go the opposite way. It just really doesn't work. You need to wash and reset that. So um, this one I kinda got a little to the end so if you do do that you can totally just kind of straighten it out a little bit with your iron so now I'm kind of to this top section here sectioning these back layers So this is like where all of my regrowth hair is. And that's why I cut it, is because all of this short hair is regrowth from when I started using my collagen. So I lost a bunch of hair from going super, super blonde along with the same time as postpartum. Not the best decision to go platinum blonde postpartum. <laughs> unless you like want to have super thin like almost no hair so I'm gonna have short hair for a little bit until this grows out you can see how like there's like nothing at the ends so uh, probably another year of a little bit shorter styles to get more of my volume because now all the volumes like within the the upper eight inches you can see all that volume is right through here and then this is where it gets a little crazy so I'm gonna let that keep growing keeping these funner shorter hairstyles and then once my hair is back to its normal thickness or even better with extra collagen then I hope to have longer longer hair again but until then we will enjoy your shorter hair
I just really like to do like braids and different things. So that's why I feel like long hair is sometimes so fun. So to style my hair, pretty much no matter what hot tool I use, it's probably about a 15 minute project. So whether that's the triple barrel, the wand, or I'm doing a curling iron. So I kind of have it tipped just a little bit so you can kind of see where it gives you that volume. If I were to be using the wand, I would actually have the wand like straight up and down with how that is designed. So who is a little bit more old school and uses the curling irons like this? Or do you only use the wand? Do you use both like me? I love the wand, but sometimes I also just don't want to deal with wrapping my hair and going a little old school like this with an iron. It just has it just has a slightly different curl pattern, that's all. So it's kind of like a, a personal preference of the day. Do I want to use a wand or a curling iron? So these I always kind of bring backwards. And try to kind of lift it to, while it cools. Keep that volume there. Ugh, see how thin, like that's a huge section and it's still so thin. I can't wait for my hair to be so much better. And when you comb your hair, you want to be ever so gentle so that way you don't break a bunch of hair because when you're combing dry hair, especially if you're blonde, there's it's just so brittle usually. So you just wanna make sure you're being very, very careful. And again, that's why I use a brushable hairspray. I'll be working on finding a hairspray that is a non-aerosol, but is still flexible and brushable. So I kind of like my front to come down a little bit more. So if you saw like all these are going back this way, and now this front one, I'm kind of over directing here and I'm not putting the curl to my root and that's intentional. I want it down so then that way it kind of comes down and frames the face. So now I look like curly Sue here. And now here is where you can go ahead and start working those curls. But you see these tips, like how fun those tips are? And that is from the curling iron, or sorry, the flat iron. So as I work these into position, once I kind of get it about where I like it, that's when I start just using a little bit of the hairspray. I'm going under, I'm kind of shaking those through, making them piecey. A little spray and hold so you get that volume. pieces where I want them. 
and I'm one of those who, <laughs> if you were my client, I would focus on the back of your hair, like making sure it's all even and equal, but I don't, I hardly ever take a mirror to see what the back of my head looks like. So if you're those people in church sitting behind me and it looks a little funny, I don't see it. <laughs> You have to stare at it, right? <sighs> and again, you want to be careful. Don't ever get hairspray on your skin. So that way you don't have clogged pores and breakouts. Just play with, play with it too. You'll have it where you want it. And there we go. And I have like a fun pointy style and then as the day goes because this is tighter it'll relax just a little bit but that's how you can reuse all your main products in your hair and I will get to wear this style today and then tomorrow I will likely brush through it and do some sort of fun ponytail so I suppose I can flip to the back That's what all those curls and pieciness looks like. So let me know if you have questions. If you want to know uh, what are my favorite products that I use on my hair, other than obviously I showed you this one. This is by Sebastian. I would gladly let you know. We'll take care and thanks for watching. Bye.